Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Sunday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. I'm going to bring in four decks of cards for you today because it is the new moon as well. So we're going to see what new things this new moon is bringing in. What's on your mind and what you're going through. So I'm going to start with a message from the Divine Masculine Dark Truth. So what do you need to know today? So yeah, one card flying out. Well, we've got two cards. Look at this. I was in denial. So you're saying to your feminine today, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hid my real feelings from you. I have always been in love with you and I'm a coward for not admitting that to you sooner. I'm gaining the courage to tell you face to face. So let me message you. Look at this. Wow. So again, this message where, the, you know, you know, Divine Masculine, that you need to be the one to reach out. You know that you need to be the one to contact your feminine. But part of you really does hope that they contact you because that's what you used to and that's your comfort zone. But you're being guided to step out of your comfort zone. And you're apologizing for denying this love or hiding your feelings or getting on with life and being in that denial energy. I was just afraid to tell you how I really feel. And you're really saying to your feminine today, I was in denial I'm going to admit my truth. I'm gaining the courage to tell you this. So let me message you. So feminines cross-watching, let your masculine message you because they're planning what to say. If I don't reply, I'm planning what to say. I get stressed when you message me again asking what's wrong. Nothing was wrong, but now it is because I feel paranoid. I've done something wrong. Don't rush me. And, you know, I'm addressing the masculines now. I feel that what you need to know today is why the feminines do this, okay? Because you may not understand it from the feminine perspective. And as a feminine myself, I've certainly been there where I've got stressed out and messaged again, asking what's wrong and what's going on and, you know, getting stressed out. Because as a feminine, we tend to take things personally. But not only that, we want to make it right, so if we're constantly reaching out to you, it's because we want things to be okay between us. We want things to be right between us. And you know there's nothing wrong. You know, Divine Mask, and that you are processing and planning and thinking what to say. And sometimes you just need time. But sometimes the feminines don't realize that because you don't communicate that. You know, if you actually said to your feminine, just give me a day or give me a week just to work things out and I'll come back to you, everything would be fine. As feminines, we would give you that space freely. We would give you that time. We would be okay. We'd get on with our lives and do things and be okay. But because you don't do that, you know, you pull back your energy or you ghost or ignore or block, we do take it the wrong way. So what we want to do is make it right again. We want to remind you how powerful the love is. We want to remind you that we care, that we're there, that we can help, that we can help with the solution. But what you're saying is, I need to do it for me. I feel paranoid. I've done something wrong because I feel like a failure anyway. And I want to do it my way. So families cross watching, remember, your masculine can get very overwhelmed with things and they just need a bit of time to process. So when they are ignoring you or ghosting you, which is always processing, remember that's the feminine perception that it's ghosting and, and blocking and all these things. But, you know, in spiritual truth, when they are doing that, you give back to you. You work on you, your dreams, your goals, the things you're doing. So today I feel the energy is, you know, as a masculine, you are preparing what to say. You're planning things. And you're also needing to apologize to yourself, first of all, for denying the love. So you're preparing to reach out. So I do feel there could be some silent energy around today because of this. So I'm going to bring in the magical messages from the unicorns and the fairies to bring in some guidance. What can help you today as a divine masculine? Curiosity. So you are curious about what your feminine is doing. And you're wondering what's going on. You know, start a project related to something you're curious about. So this is you wanting to start something again. Wanting to come back into your feminine's life because you're very curious about what they're doing. You know, you're wondering what they're up to, what they're doing in their life, what they've got going on, who they're spending time with. But also you need it to be more simplistic. It needs to be simpler. 
So you don't overcomplicate things. So when you put your energy into the basics, you let go of excess. So really what you're saying to your feminine here is, I'm going to come back into your life because I'm curious about you, because I care. But can we make it simpler? Can we make it less serious? Can we make it more playful? You know, can we let go of the old and start again? This is about a new beginning coming in. And wow, yeah, we've got vegetarian. This card came up for the feminine as well. So what I feel with this is it's not necessarily about becoming a vegetarian, even though you may do that. It's about cutting out the things that just don't serve you anymore. What you may call the crap, you know, cutting that out because you, you don't want it anymore. So what I'm really feeling is they're giving me that word. You know, I don't use swear words when I'm channeling. But it's a word that's coming through because there's not really any other way to say it. You want to cut out the crap. And what that means is you don't want to mess your feminine around anymore. You don't want to hurt them anymore. You don't want to be back and forth in the energy anymore. You want to cut out that bad behavior. And you want to cut out anything toxic in your life. You want to release things so you can start again. So you're saying to your feminine, I'm going to allow myself to do this a better way. And you may also be thinking about children. This card just moved on top of the deck. So, you know, your connection with children is part of your life purpose. So you may have children already that you're thinking of, or you may want to have children in your future. And this card moved as well. The cards are just kind of moving on top of the deck by themselves. This is what they do. So get some exercise today. You know, as your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. So you may find you want to exercise today. You may want to go for a jog, a run. You may want to go to the gym. But you're definitely bringing in your own power. And that will help you to gain clarity and focus of mind. So let's use the Angel Prayers Oracle and see what else you need to know. What else do you need to know? Thank you, Angel. So the energy we've got coming through is live your joy. And that's really what you're being guided to do right now. You know, that's why the angel's saying when you simplify your life, things get easier. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. So when you follow your heart and do what feels good, the doors are going to open. And you're also going to be able to express yourself in a new way, a more creative way that serves you. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. That means focusing on peace, joy, and love. And, you know, what I'm actually feeling there as well is harnessing the soul star chakra. And we spoke about that in the feminine reading the other day and the earth star chakra as well. So I feel that this is really about you harnessing your own power and focusing on truth and being able to bring in the energy of unconditional love. And the Divine Mother is Mother Mary. Thank you, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. So the angels are reminding you that you deserve love. You deserve to receive love and to give love the right way. And this is what you're wanting to do. You know, you're apologizing to your feminine for being in denial and denying the connection and hiding the love and the feelings. And you understand why you did that as well, because it was painful and scary for you to admit that things need to change and that you are evolving. And that's why you're preparing to reach out and message your feminine and tell them face to face how you truly feel. So feminines, let them message you. They are curious about you. They're wondering what you're doing. But they also want to make things more simple and to cut out the crap. To cut out the things that don't serve the connection and bring in pain. You know, and obviously if there's children involved, they need to work things out in their life first. So masculine, you know, if you're worried about your kids, get some exercise because it's going to bring clarity in and it's going to help you to understand what to do because, you know, children are connected with unconditional love. And this is you knowing that you have that unconditional love for them and you want to be able to give to them in all ways. So you want to be able to express your creativity and live your joy because when you do that, they sense that and they have more joy in their life. So focus on truth, focus on power, be true to yourself and give back to you to move into power. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.